Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and Happy New Year, everybody. We are now starting in 2023, and uh, as uh, you know, I did not do a Breaches of the Week video yesterday on Sunday, uh, January 1, but I did do the worst breaches of 2022, and so now we're going to start 2023 with your New Year's resolution. That's right, I'm dictating to you what your New Year's resolution is. And your New Year's resolution is to be more private and secure online and in your personal life as well. This is so unbelievably important. And as we sit here as cybersecurity professionals trying to educate the world, it just is so beyond important that we are make just making sure that we have good cyber hygiene. So in that vein, Basically, think before you uh, click. Just make sure that you are you are being proper with your cyber hygiene. Enable multi-factor authentication in everything in your life. Have good encrypted backups as well. Make sure that they're in the cloud or they're off-site. So if your house burns down or something like that, that's uh, you know you still have it. And if they're encrypted, nobody can steal it from you and ransom it against you. Make sure that you're encrypting your sensitive data as well. Don't have your passwords you know in a note file or or email them to somebody or. or or email them to yourself even. Uh, these are things that can be easily accessible. Encrypt them, put them behind layers of encryption. Also do vetting on apps that you use. Is that app something you really need? Is it built in a country where you know the government may have access to it, aka don't use or install TikTok, for example, because it's beholden to the Chinese government? Vet the apps. Is it is it basically from the EU or the United States or another place where you have recourse under the law? If it's not, then then basically understand that that you don't have recourse under the law or that this thing may be data mining you and attempting to evade permissions. So make sure you're vetting your apps as well. On top of that. Think about what you post and watch what you post online. Everything is data mined. We all know that person that uses, uh, you know, Facebook or whatever platform for their own personal therapy group will understand if you're using that on Facebook, it's just not you and your friends. It's you, your friends, Mark Zuckerberg, and tens of thousands of employees that can see this will be data mined, sent to advertisers, insurance companies, and everything else. So watch what you post online. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation with somebody online, you can use hardened encrypted apps like Signal, uh, and it's not public. You know, it's basically between you and the person or the group that that you are working with on top of this we've all got iot in our life you know make sure that your iot is properly uh, configured it's behind firewalls it's you know got good encryption passwords on your wireless uh, the default password of password has been changed so it's not exposed to the public or very easy to hijack and also make sure that it works offline Meaning, hey, you've got that thermostat and, uh, you know, if the internet goes out, does the thermostat actually stop heating and cooling your house? I mean, these are things that you should test. You know, is your smart refrigerator going to completely freak out and while it's still going to be cold, is it going to shut down in functionality in some way, shape or form? These are things that we need to understand uh, as we are working with IoT devices. A lot of these things are critical to our lives and they better work offline. God forbid the light switch doesn't turn on because it's a smart switch and it can't get to the internet to track that stuff. It should still work. And and so much more. There is so much more to secure yourself. But those are some just core steps that I can think of uh, that you should uh, basically protect yourself with. 2020 through 2022 has been, uh, I would say, pretty brutal, you know, for just humanity with, with you know, COVID and elections and like, all this kind of stuff. And I'm hoping that 2023 is going to be good. But 2023 is also going to be secure and private for you, as private as we can make ourselves in this data-driven and data mining world. And so that is not quite your news of the day, but that is your New Year's resolution. I'm putting that on everybody, myself included. And so there you go. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP, where I normally won't preach to you, but you know. And uh, feel, please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. Ring that bell. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, please, please attempt to stay private in the new year. Thanks, everybody.